Park Sharks is Mrs. Gillen here, your school librarian. I'm going to read to you dozens of donuts today. It is written by Carrie Finnison, illustrated by Brianne Farley. Who likes donuts? Do you like donuts? Look at all of these amazing donuts on the inside cover. I think there's some hiding behind here too. So I can't see all of them, but which one is your favorite? Which one would you like to eat? Would you like this one here? It's like it's got maybe a berry flavored covering on it or frosting. Mm, this one says it's a cereal donut, maybe some cereal on the top. And this one here is caramel swirly, yum. But I think the one that I would like to eat is this one right here. It is chocolate, chocolate. That means chocolate donut and chocolate frosting, yum, yum. Okay, let's get started. Dozens of donuts. Early one morning, as autumn leaves scatter, Luann's busy stirring a big bowl of batter. She'll eat some sweet treats, then warm and well-fed, she'll sleep away winter, tucked tight in her bed. Hmm. Luann is a bear, isn't she? So she's going to sleep or hibernate for the winter. So she needs to fill her belly up first before she does that. One dozen donuts hot from the pan, Toasty and tasty and all for ding dong. Woodrow, do you have enough for a neighbor to share? Sure, says Luann, and she pulls up a chair. Oh, how kind of her to share those with her neighbor. One dozen donuts, hot from the pan. Half are for Woodrow, the rest are for Ding Dong. Clyde? Luann, feeling generous, offers her, offers her plateful. Donuts, my favorite, says Clyde. I'm so grateful. You're welcome, dig in. I'll make more, says Luann. She measures and mixes as fast as she can. One dozen donuts hot from the pan, a few for her friends and the rest for ding dong. Topsy? I smelled something good. Can I hang for a while? Luann says, come in, but she's lost her big smile. You think she wants some donuts too? Hmm. Delicious, cries Topsy. She gulps down a swallow. Luann's heart feels warm, but her belly feels hollow. That means empty. One dozen donuts, hot from the pan, some for each friend and the rest for... Ding dong. Oh, she is so kind to be sharing these with all of her friends. Muffet? Muffet is so shy that she hides in a shrub. Luann heaves a sigh and says, come join the club. While her guests eat the donuts, Luann starts to worry. She cracks her last egg and pours milk in a hurry. The last dozen donuts hot from the pan. A pair for each friend means there's more for ding dong. Oh my goodness, look at her face now. She is starting to look a little nervous. Her eyes are closed here. Chip and chomp. It sounds like a party. They both scamper in. They fill up their cheeks. Now let winter begin. Woodrow pours cider. They all raise a toast, but Luann is fed up with her job as their host. She's ready to sleep through the snow, ice, and sleet, 
but winter is near and there's nothing to eat. Deep in her throat, there's a low, hungry grumble. It slowly grows louder. Her friends hear the rumble. One look at Luann and they dash for the door. After all, she's a bear and she's ready to roar. Boy, she must feel frustrated. She fusses and flails and then slowly grows still. Snowflakes drift down. All is quiet until ding dong. Peeking outside, Luann blinks in surprise. Her friends have come back and they all brought supplies. We counted the donuts you made us so many, and that's when we noticed you didn't get any. Oh, look, they brought all kinds of things to her, milk and flour and measuring tools and kitchen tools and a sign that says, we're sorry, Luann. Oh, and something else here too. Opsy ties aprons. They prop Luann's feet. Chip measures, chomp mixes. Muffet checks the heat. Dozens of donuts hot from the pan, stacked up in heaps, and they're all for Luann. Boy, those friends really appreciated her kindness, didn't they? And they're doing the same for her. But her friends have made more than enough for one bear. She has plenty to eat and she's happy to share. The end. Oh my goodness, look at all those donuts that got eaten. All right, Clark Sharks, I hope you are having a wonderful, wonderful week off and keep reading. See you soon. Bye.